Hello, I'm Philip Brunel, Artistic Director and Founder of Vocal Essence and Organist Choir Master at Plymouth Congregational Church in Minneapolis. Each day, I've selected a different composer, and each of them have been composers that have been involved with both Vocal Essence and Plymouth Church in some way or another. Today is that fantastic Italian composer, Atterino Respighi. Most people know him for some big orchestral pieces that he wrote, The Pines of Rome, The Fountains of Rome, and Roman Festivals. Those were made famous uh, because he was taken on by the conductor Toscanini, who then made his name famous around the world. But Respighi, besides being a great composer, also learned 11 languages in which he was fluent. He was a great violinist. He played the piano. And I love the fact that he learned to play the harp in one week. So I'd like to play a piece that he composed in 1921. He wrote a set of three preludes on Gregorian melodies. They weren't to be actually copies of melodies, but instead they were to be contemplations of church song. This one is a piece that he wrote called in the tempo lento, and what's interesting about this particular composition, this, it sounds like bells ringing and it's constant throughout the piece. So this is the third of the preludes on Gregorian themes by Respighi.
Respighi also wrote a piece that I love called God to the Nativity. He wrote it in 1930, and I remember years ago hearing a recording that the Roger Wagner Chorale did, and it has a part for a mezzo, and the mezzo in it was a young woman named Marilyn Horn. And I just was fascinated and enraptured by this beautiful piece. It uh, was an unusual piece because it wasn't a typical, like the other Respighi pieces, with big orchestra and all of that. It was his idea of, you know, what could music uh, sound like that would be from the shepherds, and of course, thinking Italy. So he wrote it for two flutes, oboe, English horn, two bassoons, piano, four hands, and a triangle. And this wonderful piece, uh, it, I'm gonna play the opening section of it. And what you'll find is that it has this feeling of uh, similar to say when Handel wrote Messiah, you know, after the first section, there's a little pastoral movement called a pifa. And pifa were the shepherd bagpipers that strolled around at Christmas time in Rome. And that sort of feeling that they had, you know. It's the same thing that uh, Pietro Jan used when he wrote Jesu Bambino. And here it is, Respighi taking the same idea. So this is the opening part. The orchestra plays, you'll hear it. It feels very much like the oboes being the pifa. And then the soprano comes in and sings the part of the angel. The chorus joins in a little bit later. And then the soprano comes back. All of it in that kind of wonderful feeling of a shepherd motif.
Have a wonderful day.